This is Insider Medicine in 60 from New Hampshire. The use of drug-eluting stents lowers the risk of additional procedures to unblock coronary arteries. Researchers from Dartmouth University evaluating over 65,000 patients who received either drug-eluting or bare metal stents noted an 18% reduction in repeat procedures. The rate of two-year mortality was 8% in both groups. From Austria, according to research in the Archives of Internal Medicine, low levels of vitamin D are associated with a higher risk of death from cardiovascular causes. In a study of vitamin D levels of over 3,200 patients, researchers found that of the 22% of patients that died, 62% died from cardiovascular causes. The researchers concluded that sufficient levels of vitamin D are necessary for maintaining health and lowering mortality. And finally, from the Netherlands, the use of radio frequency identification devices may cause medical equipment to malfunction. In a study assessing the potential for electromagnetic interference from RFIDs, researchers discovered that the devices were able to cause incidents such as total switch-off of mechanical ventilators, stoppage of syringe pumps, and malfunction of external pacemakers. The researchers recommend on-site electromagnetic interference tests and updated international standards before RFIDs are implemented into the ICU. For Insider Medicine in 60, I'm Dr. Susan Sharma.